Good evening, everyone. Okay. Welcome back to a beautiful Monday. Hi, Baljeet. Lovely to see you here. Hello, Hi. Anita. It's a real pleasure to see you both here. I'm honored. Thank you for being here. And everyone else, it will be wonderful if you can switch on your cameras so that we can connect and talk better to each other. Hi, Naveena. Hello, Aarti. Hello, Jyoti. Namaste, Jyoti ji. And who else is there? Vidya Hello. Ji. Hello, Sita. namaste. Lovely. Namaste. Lovely. Thank you so much. Hmm. So, today you must have read, it's a very different kind of program. There's no meditation. There is no talk. There is no discussion. But there is something that tests all of us we have been with radical for so long. We have been associated with radical and the affirmations and all the chakras which help us gain our healing capacity, helping ourselves, helping others, understanding ourselves, understanding others, perceiving ourselves, perceiving others in a different light, in a different view. But sometimes we realize that we do it so automatically. We are not even putting our minds and hearts to quickly think, if needed, can I apply this without having to refer to the book? We don't do that. Because Atman has made it so easy for us. It's like, you know, when I was young, and I'm sure a lot of other of my colleagues here will agree, there used to be a thing called kunji. For the exams, we used to have a kunji and the written questions and answers would be there, the key, literally. And we would refer to it and go to the exams very confident, thinking that, yes, the kunji will do it all for us. And then suddenly, we would be confronted with a question which is not in the kunji. And it's a compulsory one. So what happened? we went into a trauma. We went into a state of absolute panic because that question you know, had the maximum mark. So just taking that as a reference today, I decided, or rather we at Radical decided, let's have a little quiz. Let's see how much of Radical is really a part of you. Now, I know some of us here are doctors, homeopathic doctors. So I request the doctors to take a back seat. If you know it well enough, fair enough, you can put up your hand. But if you think you'd like to give the answers all the time, I will not ask you. Because in your homeopathic practice, you are knowing all the chakras, all the points that are needed for healing, right? So are we all ready? Can you give me a thumbs up if you are all ready to play this game, which normally used to happen on Fridays. We've decided to shift it in between on Monday, all right? So what do we have to do? I may ask you a chakra. You have to tell me which part of the body it belongs to. I may read a statement. You may, you will have to tell me which chakra do you think it is. Okay? And do you know any statements associated with that chakra? And I may also just make a statement myself and ask you to tell me what should I use? What healing modality should I use in terms of statement? All right. Which would be the most effective one? So are we ready for this, people? Yes? Wonderful. So don't be afraid. There is no right. There is no wrong. It is all part of who we are. It is a connect. And that is what is going to help us. Okay? So now I'm going to just... Reflect for a second. 
open my book and see where my hand goes automatically. Hmm. I'm going to say the name of the chakra. FL32, left confession chakra. Where do you think it is located? Think of the word, left confession chakra. You may refer to the book if you want. All right, I have Lumina and I have, I'll see who put up their hand first. Give me a minute. It was Soumya. Yes, Soumya. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Ma is it throat chakra? I'm just guessing. No, it's not okay. throat chakra. Okay. Yes, Naveena. I was also going to say throat chakra, but also something is coming to me right now. Is it heart chakra? No, I'll naturally tell you. So it is confession. Yeah, who yeah so you? heart chakra. I, it's left ear, ear lobe. Who, left ear this? lobe. Who me, me, this? Sangeeta, Sangeeta. Sangeeta, I can't on the uh, video oh, because, uh, yes. because uh, there are too many rains and all. And another thing I would like to share, when you said about the Kunji, uh, I was in eighth class. I came to Nagpur. I joined the central school from a convent school. And uh, I, instead of getting the maths book, I got a Kunji. I didn't know it was a Kunji. So when I saw the maths books of others, I told the teacher, I said, see, I've got a different math book. It's got all the answers. And the guy laughed at me. He says, this is not the book. You have to buy this book. And I really didn't know what a Kunji was. And right. everyone started telling me, this is what we needed here. Don't tell, don't give us. I said, no, I'm going to return and take the book. <laughs> and uh, in fact, what you said was right. There were a lot of uh, questions which the teacher would ask and the answers were not there in the kunji. So I benefited because of not using a kunji. But I, I really thank you so much for reminding something very good. <laughs> thank you, Arshi. Right. Thank you, Sangeeta. Thank yes, you. it is the ear lobe. Now, confession. Think of it when you ask somebody to maafi mango or to say, you know, apni galti ka ehsaas hai to batao. So what do we do? Kaan pakro, right? And then the confession comes out. So there are very simple ways and techniques also trying to associate. What does confession mean? Confession means guilt or some kind of lie or something. So how do you get it out? Maybe if I tell the truth. And you would have noticed a lot of people do do this when they're trying to tell a lie. They'll hold their ear. You know, it happens. It happens automatically. So left confession chakra, FL32, is the yellow. All right? Great. Now let's see where we go. Um, I have seen I have seen people holding the yellow when they talk about their guru also. Yeah, that is because you are being absolutely humble about it. And that, you know, this is the greatest sign of humility that you accept. Ki main apne guru se chota hun. Like that way. All right. All right. Let's go to the next one. It says, I'll tell you the body part. Tell me if you know the chakra number or the chakra name. This is the clavicle, left side, the clavicle. It's a reminder to grant yourself permission to fulfill self and others. Come on, people. I gave away the clue. If no one does, then I'll say. Who's that? Me again. Okay, Sangeeta. Be because I'm, do I'm doing a lot of uh, recitations for uh, in Bamta's group. So okay. I am now getting a hang of the chakras. I know why okay. okay. We'll wait. Anybody? The clavicle, left side, reminder to grant yourself permission to fulfill self and others. Let's not waste time. I gave away the clue. It is left 
fulfillment chakra. Fulfill self and others. Okay. So, I'll give you a short explanation also for it. You owe an experience of fulfilling yourself and others. Intend and invite all the experiences which eventually lead you and people around you to experience the joy of fulfillment. Okay? All right. Right. This is, where is it? The base of the index finger, right one. PR 19. Just here. So yes, that's a right, yeah, that's a right career chakra. Bravo. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, it is the right career chakra. Chakra. And what would you give a statement to anybody, Bajji? If you are having problems. So basically it is to receive freely in your career, is it? Right. Absolutely. To be open to receiving. Absolutely open to receiving. So... It is the base here, but yes, it is about being open to receiving. Super. Wonderful. All right. The groove between the... Aarti, can I ask you one question? Sure. I want to know from where would you get this book because I'm not aware of all these chakras. Uh, Uma, are you a radical student? Have of you course. done the curriculum? Yeah. What level have you done? One. Uh, it is available from level two onwards. Okay. Because that's, right. when, that's when we teach you all about the chakras. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all the 250 yeah. minor chakras and yeah. the major chakras. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering because I don't have the book, so I was wondering how are you doing it and from where okay. are you doing it. So, thank no, you. It is, it is from level two onwards, okay? All right. All right. All right. Thank so, you. Yes. So then this we have the groove between the index finger and the middle finger. This groove here. Reminder to free yourself from being I give away the word. Reminder to free yourself from being addictive to give, perform, and perform certain things. Addiction chakra. Wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely. You said it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Now, we know there are addictions are of all kinds, right? It's not just about substance abuse or alcohol or cigarettes, etc. Addiction to TV, addiction to mobiles, addiction to foods, addiction to sex, addiction to you name it. There are many kinds of addictions. And to counter that, this would be a wonderful chakra to suggest to your clients and get them to work on it. So that it helps him and benefits him, you know, completely. Right. All right. Now, I'm sure the hand should go up for this from everyone. I choose to thrive in life. Which chakra is this? Hands raised. I choose to thrive in life. So who raised the hand first? Apoorba. Ma'am, root chakra. Root. MC12. Right. Moon Moon, you raised your hand a bit late. Naveena, I saw yours too, but it came a bit late. Never mind. All right. So then how about you telling me what is the key statement 
or the back root chakra. Raise hands, don't say. Back root chakra. Uh, Munmun, yes, Munmun. I creatively express myself. Go ahead. Wonderful. Creatively I, express myself. I express and communicate with communicate. honor. Honor. I express and communicate, communicate with, honor. with honor. All right. I'm asking you the basic chakras now. What about the front heart chakra? Hands. Right, Naina. Okay, I'm also just guessing. Is it about love and forgiveness? It is love, definitely. But do you know the statement? Could you tell me the statement? Yeah. Front so, right. So uh, I don't. I mean, are five statement or no? The basic statement because I've not done basic. level two. No, that's okay. okay. You can create one, it may be right. close enough. You know, front right. is all about receiving. Right. And the back right. is all about giving, giving away. Right. right. So right. since it is receiving, what do you think should be the statement? I receive love with ease and grace. Fair enough. Because the statement would be, I safely intend and invite others to love me. I safely intend and invite others to love to me. Love. Okay? Right. So now, let's go to what comes up next. Back, third eye chakra. Yes, Balji. So, uh, to implement dreams and visions, basically. Super, super. So I implement all my dreams, dreams ideas, and, and visions. Vision. Yeah. I implement all my dreams, ideas, and visions. That's the back third eye chakra. Yeah. Okay. So this is becoming a little question answer session, but. What is it that you would like to ask each other? Anybody? Communication? Yeah. That would be throat chakra. Throat right? chakra. Yeah. Absolutely. So what do you want to know from throat chakra? Effectively yes. communicate. Yes. What else can throat chakra do? Feel okay. Feel okay? All right. Mm -hmm. That I think we do with all the chakras. Saying the right okay. words at the right time. How about knowing that it is all about remaining open to receive communication? Receive education. And at the same time, being humble. open to convey Can the be. truth, right? So a lot of people may have problems with the throat chakra in terms of communicating that even their dreams, ideas, visions, which may be there in their mind, third eye, but they're not able to communicate it correctly. So what statements do you think we should use for uh, somebody who's going through, uh, let's say, a blockage in terms of expression. Which ones should be the statement which will be bang on? It's safe to express and communicate really. Yes, that is one. But if you're trying to help the person open up their heart, uh, throat chakra, what you said, said Seema, would be part two. 
first appearance, what do you think should be the statement? Uh, Arti, may I try? Nadine has left. Sure, sure, sure. So I let go of the blockages in communicating effectively. All right. But uh, I'm talking right now of all the standard uh, statement packages that we have. Sure, in sure. Got it. Got it. Got right. It. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, so is it is it related to honor? Yes, it is related to honor, but it's also related to expression. So I express with say? honor. I express with honor. Okay. So yes, express with honor. What is needed for expression? What is needed for expression? From you, what is needed from you? I see Would my it be own confidence. Own my, uh, one by one, please. Yes, Soumya. Uh, I archive my need to express with honor. Okay. All of you are now talking only of honor. To be in that honorable position, to be able to give or express with honor, what do you need inside you? To Love. be able to express self esteem, Con confidence. confidence. One minute, Navina said self esteem. Yes, anything else? Self, self confidence. confidence. Openness. Self confidence and self belief. Humility. Self belief. The three major components: self esteem, okay. self confidence, self, -confidence, self, -confidence, self, -confidence, self -belief. belief. So, if you have problems in communicating, just make an effort to bring this up. How can we do this? I solve. Yes. I resolve. I resolve. Yes. I co-solve. I, I super solve. Yes. And I awaken. awaken. The same thing. I solve, solve. my self-belief. I dissolve my self-belief. Resolve my self-belief. Co-solve my self-belief. Super solve my self-belief. I awaken self-belief. I awaken myself with self-belief, with self-confidence, yeah? with self-esteem. Self self-esteem. So mm -hmm. in self-esteem, you can always add also what you feel otherwise, worthless. Mm -hmm. People feel worthless. So I solve my worthlessness, mm -hmm. worthlessness. my feeling of worthlessness, I dissolve. So you know these Five statements of solve, dissolve, resolve, co-solve, super-solve are working on the complete consciousness. Solve is on the conscious mind. Dissolve is on the filter mind. Resolve is super, uh, subconscious mind. Co-solve is higher consciousness. And super-solve is with the super-consciousness. So you're connecting it, making it a chain. Once you're at the superconscious level, what is expected of you? To awaken. Awaken that part of you which is either lying dormant or something that you want to really insist with your own self to bring up in life. All right? So you can do that. All right. Let's go to the next one. And I'm just taking this as a random one. What does the yin yang chakra teach us? The feminine and the masculine balance. Yes. Yeah. To bring and also to understand gender specific roles. Balance, yes. We, do, we know the image of the yin and yang, right? In every yin, there's a bit of yang, and in every yang, there's a bit of yin. But at the same time, it is important to awaken that part of you at the correct time when it is needed. If both the partners are operating out of yang, what can happen? It can only lead to entanglement and disharmony, right? 
and it's similar. You both are operating out of him. The same thing can happen. So the balance has to be there, but it is important in the yin that the yang should be able to rise and take charge as and when it is needed. The shakti of a woman, that's power. We understand very clearly, right? that the roles as had been defined energetically, cosmically, the yin is the nurturer and the yang is the provider. Masculine is the provider, feminine is the nurturer. But as time has passed, things have evolved, we are shifting into other planes, we are going up into the fifth dimension. If you notice, a lot, you hear a lot more about the disharmony, you know a lot more about, you know, maybe divorces happening or people not being able to tolerate each other, people learning to live separate lives and happy in it, right? Maybe that's not supposed to be the natural pattern because somewhere there is a need for unity, unification. The gender specific roles can be there, but if the roles are changing because of the energetic shift, happening around us, it doesn't mean that you lose your balance. The balance has to be maintained so that you know and you know you are, are able to help the others also to be operating out of that specific energy, the masculine or the feminine. Any questions on this? Anybody? Why is it looking like a class? Come on, people. We've had fun on Fridays. We're doing it for a start on a Monday. Anybody, any questions on anything till now? Uh, yeah. uh, Navina mm -hmm. here, Arti. Yes, so Navina. Gang, like, suppose, like, <laughs> like uh, basically like when I've taken the role of playing as a woman and if I have to arouse that yang means basically somewhere where I have to put my foot down and being assertive that time that yang has to be literally aroused right that is what you meant right like normally we are nurturers no when you say foot down and assertive there seems to be a bit of uh, what should I say um, aggression in that okay now, how does a yang operate when it is a yin? So, mm -hmm. normally as a nurturer, you would think a woman would be at home, looking after things, looking after children, taking care of the family, etc. Okay. But the yang in her makes her powerful enough to go out there and work in the wild world, to be, you know, uh, in charge and to be able to deliver as much as could be expected of the other gender. I think the only role she can't do is produce children. Otherwise, there is nothing else that she can't do. She has broken many bastions, you know, in terms of gender-specific roles. She's today in the uh, defense forces. She's also a pilot. And remember the times when it all started, when you had the first lawyers, the first engineers, the first doctors, whom have had to face so many a challenges to be working in a totally yang environment. But it was their personal yang which mm -hmm. helped them go through these processes to be where they were and achieve the successes that they have in life. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the aggression that asserting yourself. It is about taking charge. It is about knowing that yes, there is a capability, ability which can allow me to be the best version of myself when I allow my yang to surface when needed. Okay? Does that make sense, Navina? Yes, a lot of sense, I think. Okay. Thanks a lot. I mean, I really got a clarity of yes, what it means and now I, it's like, and same with the other gender, you know, like who are yang and, uh, you know, they are, like they can be nurturers at times, you know, when required. Munmun, thank you so much. You're welcome. You have your hand raised. Munmun? Yes. I have a question. Yeah. 
if a man is important mm -hmm. then what about our yearning chapter uh, what about the what about the yearning in chapter all right so some things are genetic some things are karmic and some things can be maybe uh, because of some impacts and traumas also that a person goes through okay yes. if a person yeah. is important so somewhere his yang has been crushed okay his energy the, the gender specific role where it demands him to be a man to be able to provide provide that seed for the plant to grow if it is not happening then there would be many other reasons it could be ancestral it could be anything but it also means that there is no harm in trying out processes which can help him to maybe get some benefit out of it but importancy normally is seen as either karmic or as a genetic or as as uh, something which may have impacted as a trauma in childhood so then that is uh something that one needs to see specifically munwan does that thank you, you madam yes yes yeah okay thank you so much okay. any other question on this all right so the next one is i'm going to just take the this the bicep which chakra do you think it is bicep think um that's a good one but no it is not that <laughs> visualize two people okay visualize two people and then think what would this mean bicep is it opposition chakra i'm just guessing okay it's a wild no. guess no no Interestingly, it is the harmony chakra. Okay, I thought the other way enough. Oh, होता है ना जब दो बंदे मिलते हैं तो एक दूसरे को पकड़ते हैं. Okay, so it yeah, is like okay. you know creating that circle of harmony. That's how I associate it. So that is what it is. It is called harmony chakra, and in this case, it was the left harmony chakra, the left bicep. All right. So it says your struggle and fight beyond the point. may seem counterproductive as there is a lot of wastage of time effort and energy you always have a choice of intending doing giving delivering or contributing in a struggle in a struggle free and harmonious manner and enjoy a fantastic growth spurt in various facets of your life so that brings about the harmony i contribute with ease and grace am my harmony and peace i contribute with ease and grace amidst harmony and peace right? how how about the right harmony chakra i beg your right pardon? right bhi to hoga na ye to left hua na ha so Or right right for a right bhi wahi hoga only thing is in this you are contributing in that you would be receiving with ease harmony and grace cuz i'm having a lot of pain here what does that mean so somewhere there are some blockages which are not allowing you are not allowing yourself to receive what may be offered by people around you or the environment or your circumstances so you are not allowing the harmony to settle inside okay okay so okay. what will happen is that you may have a perception of people and circumstances are giving you fights and challenges mm -hmm. and because of that you are restricting yourself okay and so what could, become, so so what could be the statement to come out of this pain uh, okay right now you can do the hard fight for it which would mm -hmm. be I R five my need to struggle, fight, and difficulty in receiving. 
of this. I have five my needs for struggle, fight, and difficulty in receiving. Okay? okay. Please work okay. on that. Okay. All right. So now the last one. Let's see what comes up. Okay. Does anybody know what is BL8? I'm picking a number this time. And it's one of the most popular ones. BL8. B is obviously that. Constancy L chakra. Which one? Constancy. No. Emotional hurts. Who says puja for me? No. <laughs> One last try. Someone. It's a favorite with all of you. Yes, Apurva. Uh, Mom, detachment. No. All right. It's the comfort through chakra. All of you have back pain. All of you say that I'm having a pain here at the bottom, right? It's all about comfort food. Learning to flow easily through life. Why do we not allow it? Why do we restrict ourselves? Why do we need to have a tight rope walk all the time? Why do we feel a kind of adrenaline rush to prove to the world that I can do a tightrope walk. That's the ego speaking, right? Why do we need it? And because of that, trying to balance things which may be proving too difficult or heavy, metaphorically for you, we invite that pain which stays there as a constant reminder to tell us, release yourself. Take things with ease. Learn to be in a comfort cruise mode. Right? So, I transform and transcend my need for a tight rope walk. I transform and transcend my reason for my tight rope walk. I transform and transcend my resistance to let go of my tightrope walk. If you can see the brilliance in it, then I transform and transcend the brilliance in my tightrope walk. Yeah? And after that, what can we say? I make it easy for myself and others to cruise through life. I make it easy for myself and others to cruise through life. I think this is a good one to finish it on. So let's all learn to have a comfort cruise in life. Let's all learn collectively that life is easy. Continue. Anybody else? Life is easy. Life is lots of fun. Absolutely. Fun and so let's make life easy, effortless and fun. And continue this cycle with all of us. Any questions or anything you'd like to ask me right now? Anyone? Any questions? Anita, any questions from you? Guruji? I can't hear you. You're muted. You know, this is really a nice thing that I came today because, you know, I've been in radical for a long, long time and I don't, I use it as a, what do you say, along with something else. Because right. regression is my, uh, yeah, you know, know, everyone has their own strength. Yeah. So that is my strength. And I, this is a side thing with 
with which I help people. But it, this was nice because I had, I had no clue which chakra was what. But then, it's nice to know. Great, thank you, thank you so much, Anita. But I'm really so happy to see you here today. Seriously, nah. yeah. Baljeet, anything you'd like to say? Yes. <coughs> yeah, it was very nice. You know, it's revising all the chakras again. Though no, I, it, I use them, yeah. Like uh, I use them, but as like Anita said, alongside. But I think yeah. like this, it'll be a good revision <laughs> if we do it regularly. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to do this once a while. And mm. maybe on certain, I think next time what I'm going to do is just going to pick a particular set of chakras, yeah. you know, of a part of a body. Let's say of mm. the arm or of the face or something like that. So that a person can really remember it for life. Because I think that would be is, very nice. Yeah, because uh, this we know is all about ego right here Ego. right yeah. so this we know is all about uh, pride this one it's all about pride you know mm. this is all about taking in all the stresses right so then they all have it but we are not able to associate it so easily because it's a desi version of the things like that Think up of those things and then make up this whole list and maybe next time or some other time we'll do it again. So Monday yeah, is going to be yeah, sorry. Hmm. Yes, uh, Baji. Arti, it would be very nice because I actually find it very difficult to learn up the chakras, you know. That's why what I said is today, what, uh, that uh, is why I said the doctors should not talk today because they know it all. And hmm. all the doctors in the group and I marvel at them sometimes. And then I ask them, are you a doctor? So they say, yes, we're a homeopathic doctor. So they know all the chakras, you know, so it becomes easier for them. But it's wonderful because of them, it's, they make us aware too. And that is great. So thank you, doctors, for not talking today, whoever has been here. So thank you all for coming. And thank you for being part of it. I'm going to open up the Circle of Peaceful Progress group. You can post your comments or what more you would like us to do on this platform because it's always going to be on a Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday now with something very interesting. And I'll meet you again most probably next Monday.